Hey everybody, I just completed a job on my bridge fort here, repairing a broken exhaust stud on a Harley Davidson cylinder head, in which I had to angle the head of the bridge fort using a gauge pin to indicate the angle that I would have to do the repair on the cylinder head. So now I am I'm going to tram the head back to uh, perfect squareness to the table in all directions. Um, and I wanted to show a video here for beginners because there's a lot of conversation online in the forums with people struggling to tram the head. And I'll show you a tip that I use when I'm bringing my head back to be trammed. So I was about a little over 14 degrees set like this with the head when I did the repair. And now what I've done is I've loosened uh, the nuts there on the front and I've come here to the side of the bridge fort head and as you know there are graduated lines here that are used just for reference um, and I brought it just up to before zero position and what I do is ignore these when you're tramming the, this is never going to be accurate enough to have your mill uh, perfectly trammed so what I use it for is just to bring it before the zero so I know which direction I'm going to have to go and I'm not going to be chasing back and forth on, along the line as I'm trying to trim the head. So I bring it into a rough uh, zero just before the zero on either side of the line. Then I bring the table up and I extend the quill down. And I take a machine of square and make sure that everything's cleaned off the table, hand wipe that down, uh, wipe the machine of square, and I bring it up just to get a reference. And you will see very clearly now as we look that you can see between the square and the quill. So obviously the quill is not square to the table. I'll show you from the other position, which I didn't change to do the repair, what it looks like when it's pretty darn close. So I'm gonna move my light. I'm gonna bring my square up. And you can see that I'm not seeing any light or anything in here. Now I could put a flashlight or something on the table behind it just to get a better look. But I'm not gonna finally tram it in using the square anyway, so I'm just bringing it in very close. So let's go back to where we were. Bring my light in. So we're back here to the front and I can see the gap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach up with my wrench and I'm gonna move this while I watch down by the square. You see it's getting closer. I'm now very close. So what I'll do now that I've roughed it in using the machine of square is I'll mount my Indicol with my Brown and Sharp Best Test Indicator, which is my personally my personal favorite indicator, and I'll sweep the table at the maximum range that I can get out of that Indicol, and I'll bring it in perfect. Now that should be a video for another day, but I hope this is a basic tip will help you to rough tramp in your head to where you're so close that using the indicator, you're not gonna feel like you're chasing your tail. So, so make sure you subscribe, guys. I'm gonna be putting a lot of beginner machinist tips and tricks onto my channel, and I hope you find them helpful in your shop.